a little simple painting setup spot. This has to be painted for the diorama. Tossing up between red and grey at the moment, but red's going to work better for the soil colour, I think. Trees on the other hand, we have a little technique for these. What do I do before I prime them? So I apply a little bit of paint. That one we're using today is Shadow Rust. Gray. Now the aim here is not to have a brown trunk, but to weather the tree a little bit better. And being resin printed, these are really easy to hold and they're not fragile. I have an FDM printed one over there, I'll bring it over in a minute. That is fragile. watching paint dry in it. Concept here is a tree is grey and brown as it ages new and old bark. That's what we're aiming for. I'll show you one I uh, did the other day. This is resin print, uh, FDM printed, so it's not resin. You can see how spider weaver it is. But the brown, after I sprayed it, just leaves a little effect. It's ready to get. We don't want much of these on here. Just enough to get one side covered. Mixture of grey and brown. Let's see before we dry, which won't take long. We'll flop them. There's a man on Thinkiverse that makes railway buildings. That's his workshop building. I printed that one out. I sprayed that silver. Mostly for the corrugated iron, still got to get painted around here. Have a worker's cottage, once again, to spray paint that silver, keep that probably red on the roof. Now, this tree is ready for a little bit of flocking. That is one part glue, three parts water, and a whole lot of gook don't need much on here. We are just using what is effectively known as carpet fibre. It's expensive but we just want it to stick to it. Carpet fibre. Nice product made in Germany. I 
little bit goes a long way. See that? We're not finished with it yet. Hair styling. Hair spray whacker. Notice it changes its colour slightly. Now we're going to be using a tiny little nosh. I don't speak German. Very, very fine. This adds a degree of leaf colour to it. And bring it too carried away. Sawdust. Just for the contrast, the dead leaf and the green leaf. Shade of green in there, densifies it up a bit. Doesn't matter if it gets down here, yeah, we'll seal that on there. Now I've got to be extremely careful, but I want this to be flowering. One quick squirt of red paint. Freestanding, which is really helpful for it. And I'll just try and age this thing up a little bit. Water act as a shrub. Uh, get some bushes here. We're going over Woodwind Scenic, so we're going from Germany to America. Now, this is going to try and stick on here like a bit of a moss. Carpet fiber. Then we'll put that on there. Yeah, so it's supposed to be a bit of infill in the diorama that this is going to be blending in as a bit of backdrop this part of the project Signal boxes and stuff. That's your single box. Train tracks coming around here. So what we want under there is gravel. I'll cut the end off it, but we don't need that. This 
this really doesn't matter how messy we make it. This is a rail yard. Most of this will be under train tracks. sandy loose gravel effect oh, um. I'm happy to see that big fat hand out the way Here where we missed. I want to add some greenery to the edge. Not too much. What we got left over here. I'm wasting nothing. Sawdust. Goes on everything. When that dries, that will sit there. Train track will run down here, and this will sit under another set of train tracks. trees from before. Okay, have another second. We'll do this first. Tiny, really tiny wall. That. Get so straight. It's going to work, I hope. With a shanty. Just like so. See how we're building it up. Picked him up as a pair on eBay. The cost of buying one new. That needs to be painted. Silver looks better. Purely because it reflects light. Silver wall, let that dry, and we'll weather it. Right. Back to the trees. One, two, three. Same deal as before. Gluey. Once again, this stuff is super cheap, and it doesn't matter if you waste it. Clear, which doesn't really worry me in a few which it's full of snow anyway. As I said, this is the resin one, so it's a lot tougher than the Trees looking more like they 
in the same family. on that side. Do this down this one side. Okay, of course, you can just you can see the difference in the leaves in there. That one. I'm going to draw him back. Nice and stretchy this fibre. I'm sure if I knew somebody of a carpet factory I could probably get this cheap. sort us to the last one but it's a smidge quickly going out some the third one in this trilogy. Why don't you get all this assembled into a diorama? Alrighty. What we're trying to make is a pop-up park. It can be used in a bunch of Wemax villages, which are between the buildings. They want $40 roughly to buy these things at the shops and they're a lot of fun to make so Yeah. A bit green. 
Okay. That is a signal box. Another one. There, about three. Some grey primer. It's got to be painted up. The roof's going to be red, so. I thought both colours. The roof's going to be red, the wall's going to be green, and the bottom will be brown. I think we have these signal boxes that work, so I've got to take some photos and get the colour up. Precision of a brain surgeon. Right. Going on the outside. Oh, a bit weathered red there. There we go. If you can see that, it's got to dry. It's got a bit of work to do on that. Some, but not all, of the Doctor Who figurines. These, some need bases, some work without bases. Cyberman is just too top heavy to stand up. Just need to be primed so we can paint them. resin so they've taken a couple of days to dry in the sun. We've had storms so it has to which we've taken a few days to try and find sunlight. Alright. That is done. <laughs> that will be all I'll show you on this video. The next video we'll do trees there, getting them onto that red board that we got drying here, and we'll turn that into a pop-up park. But meanwhile, thank you for watching, please comment below and subscribe if you can, and thank you for watching.